Hi, new setting today, completely different. Um, so if you were looking forward to bugs or flies, larva, any of that, that's not in this video. However, um, this is my experimental space where I wanted to do a control and experiment on seed starting using compost. Um, the next level of this experiment will include the frass. So that will be an ongoing um, experiment that I have here. Right now, um, this is, these were all started on April 3rd. It is now April 20th. And um, so I did my own seed starting mix. That was, so this is the control. It was two quarts perlite, three quarts vermiculite, three quarts pit moss, not peat moss. And then to get it to the right uh, water consistency, uh, I added two quarts of water. So that was the control. The experiment, same, uh, same mix. I just added two quarts of my compost. So, um, and again, the two quarts of water for the right consistency. I will say right off the bat, um, when I made the soil blocks for this, I've never done that before. They packed a lot nicer and neater with the compost in the mix. So right off the bat, it was just easier that way. Um, and let's see, I'll give you more of, of a close up update, but the results have been incredible and I'm pretty excited about, you know, the further aspects of this. And um, so that being said, I'll show you some of the details. Okay, so right off the bat, this, if you can't tell which one had the compost and which one didn't, I'll pan up. This one over here had the compost. So um, there, there are a variety of seeds here. Um, we have nightshades, we have some uh, cucumbers. Um, these here, are, that's a cardoon. I've never grown those before. I'm very curious about them. Um, and then over, so these are a shishito pepper. I collected them from my garden last year. And as you can see, they've done really nicely. These over here, not so much. Um, these are, there are two varieties of tomatoes here and it's, I, these are, these have gone way too long, <laughs> these little plugs. I need to get them out. Um, they're pretty much at their max, but you can see the huge difference. Um, and the cucumbers. I don't, I really don't know how I'm going to untangle them, but I'm going to try. All right. And then coming over to, these are all varieties of salvias. Um, again, planted on April 3rd, today's April 20th. Um, I had some plug blowouts over here, but the difference, I mean, I will say some of these have germinated a little bit better without the compost. Like, uh, these are Swan Lake variety salvia, and for whatever reason, they didn't really like the compost. So that one is probably, that would be the outlier. So here again, more salvias. This is without. Same, same seeds, same time with compost. It's, it's spectacular. It's, it's just... It's amazing and exciting and it gives me that new grower season hope and optimism I think um, is, is nice this time of year. All right, and these are fish peppers here in the front. They have germinated really nicely. I have them on a seed warming pad here. Um, and we have some 
I said, I forget what kind of flower back there. Those are old seeds. I'm kind of surprised they germinated. Um, but these are fish peppers and I collect those from my garden last year. They get a really beautiful variegated leaf and fruit. So, and they're all different colors as well, which is, it's, it could be ornamental and you can also eat them. They're a little spicy. So if you like that, they're, it's a, it's a wonderful pepper. I love them. So that is with the compost. And then like you practically <laughs> need to zoom in to see them here. And this is without, um, and the flowers back there too, they didn't germinate super great. Um, and then this tray is probably my least successful. Uh, there are, there was a mix of old seeds in this one. So I think that was kind of um, a hindrance for me. This is without compost, and so that's, this is a little block of calendula seeds here. It looks like some, uh, there's a little dampening off happening, not, yeah, that guy back there is kind of seeing better days. They, that's not going to make it. Uh, coming over here, this is with the compost, and it's just totally different. Totally, totally different. <laughs> And it looks like there's some verbena. This this was old verbena seed and that's coming up for me. And it didn't come up in just like the straight seed starting mix. So, um, yeah. So here's my uh, spring 2023 experiment. I hope you kind of enjoyed some of the results that I showed here. Um, I think it's really exciting to see just like one little aspect just changing that up can make a world of difference. And um, I'm really hoping like through the season, I can document how how the plant thrives and grows and produces. I, I think that'll be really helpful information. It's one thing to, to do the composting and, you know, to make the product and to generate it and have it for sale, but it's something else to actually put it to use and demonstrate how it works, why it works, and all the other benefits. So this is something I really, I really enjoy, the, enjoy doing this part. Um, I hope you enjoy learning about it. I hope you enjoy, enjoy watching it. So um, thanks for watching. Keep it circular. <laughs>